The baseball world looked a lot different six years ago. The reigning MVPs were Mike Trout and Chris Bryant, the Cubs broke their 108 year curse, and a man who hadn't been in the league for five years went on to have one of the greatest Linsanity runs in MLB history. This is the story of Eric Thames. Thames was drafted in the seventh round out of Pepperdine University in 2008, and immediately made a name for himself displaying his elite power swing. In 130 games at AA in 2010, he smashed 27 homers, had 95 runs scored, and knocked in 104 to go along with an almost 900 OPS. In 2011, he continued to showcase the potential with his bat and was called up to the Blue Jays on May 17th. From that point onwards, he was a semi-regular in the lineup, going on to play 95 games down the stretch with 12 homers and a 769 OPS. Nothing extraordinary, but for a first showing in the big leagues, it was an intriguing sign of things to come. However, coupled with injuries and poor performances in 2012, he was on the outs. And later, his contract was purchased by the NC Dinos, a Korean team that gave Thames the platform to showcase MLB clubs his raw potential, and that's exactly what he did. During the three seasons he was there, nobody swung the bat quite like him, never posting below 37 homers, 120 RPIs, or an OPS lower than 1100. Staggering numbers which saw him take home the KBO MVP award in 2015, catching the attention of the Milwaukee Brewers. In the offseason leading up to the 2017 season, Thames made his full circle moment by signing an MLB contract for three years $16 million to be the everyday first baseman with occasional days in the outfield for the Milwaukee Brewers. It was a deal that went unnoticed by most leading up to opening day, and rightfully so. After all, he hadn't stepped foot in a major league batter's box since Zach Granke struck him out swinging in 2012. But this time, it was different. In the first game of the season, Thames had the opportunity to do something special. Down by two with two men on, he shot a double into right field, scoring both runs while jogging into second base comfortably for his first hit since he took Ryan Dempster deep all the way back on September 23rd, 2012. A solid first game back in the big leagues, and over the course of the next few games, he continued to showcase his knack of hitting for extra bases, with his first home run off of Tyler Chatwood in the bottom of the fourth inning to open the scoring, and two more doubles in back-to-back -back games on April 9th and 12th. At this point in time, he was hitting a cool 318 with an almost 1,000 OPS and three extra base hits in just 25 plate appearances. But April 13th is when everything kicked off. Over the course of his next five games, Thames hit a home run in each, including two against the Cincinnati Reds on the 17th, breaking the Brewers' record for most consecutive games with a homer. Now, at this point in time, he was hitting 405 with an almost 1500 OPS and 11 extra base hits and 11 starts. Those type of numbers are elite for anybody in the major leagues, and for him to do this after being exiled to Korea just a few years prior is an unbelievable accomplishment, and the best part is, he didn't stop there. Following his 5 game stretch of homers, he went on to hit 4 more with an over 1000 OPS in his final 12 games of April, officially ending this month with a ridiculous 345 batting average, almost 1300 OPS, 11 homers, and 28 runs in just 23 starts. He was leading the league in practically every single offensive category there is and was on pace for 81 home runs. Truly remarkable for a third year old to break out like he did and resulted in three drug tests in a 10 day span. And while he did ultimately slow down when the calendar flipped to May, with an OPS of just 789 from that point onwards, he was still an incredible addition to the team and in the year following he helped the club return to the playoffs for the first time since 2011. By doing so, Thames proved to the MLB world that going to Korea or Japan from the MLB is not a death sentence for your career, and because of this we are seeing more and more players follow in his footsteps. Just this offseason, Jesus Aguilar, an already established big leaguer who hit 35 homers with over 100 RBIs in 2018 for the Brewers, just signed with the Seibu Lions in Japan, hoping to, like Thames, who was his teammate for a few years, perform overseas and return to MLB stardom. All thanks to Thames for his willingness to take a step back in order to take two forward and pioneered this new path for aspiring big leaguers who just need a platform to showcase their ability. That wraps it up for this video, but before you go, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as I just started this channel and by doing so will help me reach more like-minded baseball fans such as yourself. Anyways, thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next one.